What's up creators? Today I'm breaking down exactly how you can make a killer outro video to level up your YouTube channel. What is an outro? An outro is the final part of your YouTube video, the closing section where you wrap things up, say goodbye to your audience, and often include elements like end screens, links to other videos, or a call to action. While it might seem like just a formality, the outro actually plays a crucial role in your video's overall impact. When it comes to creating a killer YouTube video, most people pour all their energy into the intro and main content. But what you say at the end can be just as important. A well-crafted outro isn't just a sign-off, it's your last chance. To leave an impression, encourage viewers to subscribe, guide them to watch more of your content, and even boost engagement. Think of it like the closing scene in a movie. Done right, it can leave your audience wanting more, and more importantly, coming back for it. Whether it's a simple thank you, a call to action, or a seamless transition to your next video, the outro helps you turn casual viewers into loyal fans. Before we dive in, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos on animation making. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends. Step 1. Creating a Character Description We will create a character. Because our channel is more on animation, we want it to be engaging with animation too, so we need a character for our outro. To create a character, we will create a prompt. In ChatGPT, we just ask him to create character description, and in a few minutes, it will give us a character prompt for our character according to the idea that we give earlier. Step 2. Creating Character to create the character described by ChatGPT, we will transform it into image. To do that, we will be using PicLumen AI. PicLumen is your go-to AI image generator, turning simple text prompts into breathtaking artwork in seconds. Whether you're exploring your creativity or designing visuals, PicLumen makes it easy and fun to bring your imagination to life. To start in PicLumen, click Generate for free. You need to log in to use this app. After logging in, click on the Create button. After that, click on this button and select the Flux 1 model. And in the Dimensions section, select the ratio 16 by 9, and set the quantity to 2 to generate two image variations at a time. Now paste the prompt here, and at the end of the prompt, add 3D Pixar style to generate cartoon images instead of realistic ones. then click the Generate button. Within a few seconds, Piclamen will generate two image variations based on the prompt we provided. As you can see, Piclamen has generated two variations of the same prompt, and the result is just incredible. I will repeat that process to create more images. But this time, I will type, The ant is holding a subscribe button. And a few seconds, Piclamen has created another two images. To download this images, just click the arrow at the lower part of the image and save to your computer. Make sure to put them in one folder so you can easily find them later. Step 3. Animate the character. To animate the character, we are going to transform the images we created in Piclumen AI to a video and bring them to life. To do that, we are going to use Hiluo AI. Hiluo AI is an AI-powered video generator developed by Minimax that allows users to create high-quality videos from text prompts and images. It offers features like text-to-video conversion, image-to-video transformation, and customizable templates. Since we already have an image, we will use image-to-video. To begin, we have to upload our image here. Then select camera movement. You can choose any camera movement you want according to your preference. Camera movement prompt will automatically add on the description, then type a short description here. You can type what your character should do in that scene. Describe its movement like walking, talking, or adding hand gestures. Then click Generate, and your image is processing on the right side. You can add more image to animate. It can process three images at the same time. It will take some time to generate but the result is incredible. And here are the video clips that we created.
download these videos, just click the arrow down at the right side of the video and save it to my computer. Now that we already have videos, we now proceed to video editing. To edit the video, I will use Canva. Canva is an Australian multinational proprietary software company that provides a graphic design platform that provides tools for creating social media graphics, presentations, postcards, promotional merchandise, and websites. To start, click Create. Choose video template that is 19, 20 by 1080 pixels. Next, it will direct you to a black video template. Go to Upload, Upload Files, then upload your videos that you want to use. And drag the video on a blank page. Add more pages and drag your videos one by one. As you can see, our videos have watermark here. We will cover it by adding some elements. Go to Elements and search the object you want to use. I want to cover it with grass and plants. So I search for plants and flowers. and display them to cover the text, arrange it, add some style, then copy all those designs and paste it to all the videos. Next is to go to designs and search for YouTube outro. There are many YouTube outro format here. You can choose one design and add it to your video. Delete all the unnecessary text and designs that you don't need it. Arrange the text and remove the sample photo. Change it with your channel logo. After that, copy all the designs of the outro and paste it to all your video. Then upload the audio. You may use background music, or you can use your own voice saying, thanks for watching and check our other videos too. Limit your outro to 20 seconds long only, because YouTube allows end screens to appear during the last 520 seconds of a video. So if you want to promote other videos or encourage subscriptions with clickable elements, that's your window. It's long enough to say things like subscribe, watch the next video, or check out this playlist, but not so long that people get bored. After that, you can export your project and save it to your computer. What are you waiting for? Create your YouTube outro now to make your video more attractive, interactive, and gain more subscribers. Here is the animated video for my YouTube outro. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Check out our other videos too.